Hello, welcome back to yaymath.org with Yaymath in Studio. Uh, I'm Robert Adut. Today we're going to be talking about how to multiply and divide rational expressions, basically multiplying and dividing fractions, oftentimes with x's and y's in them. It's really not that big a deal, all right? All we have to do is think about how it cancels. I even, I pared this down so that like pretend there's stuff in here and stuff in here, it would operate the same way. Whenever we're multiplying fractions, we don't need a common denominator, we just need to cancel. So we can think of like this as four and eight. The common factor with four and eight is the number four. Four goes into this once, this goes twice. Now x divides here. One of these x's cancels one of these x's, leaving three of them. And then two of these y's cancel two of these y's, leaving five of them. So the result of this fraction, assuming this is all like one, let's say, to make it easy, multiply across, the top becomes one, the bottom becomes two, x cubed, y to the fifth. All right, so I just wanna introduce you to this cancellation process. Now let's talk about this one. Here we have the fraction x plus two over x squared plus seven x plus 10, all divided by x plus two divided by x squared plus two x minus 18. So what we can do is we can think of this in terms of a division, right? We can write it as x plus 2 over x squared plus 7x plus 10 divided by this guy, x plus 2, divided by x squared plus 2x minus 18. And if you recall rules for dividing fractions, it's the same, dividing a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by its reciprocal, right? A brief example of that is like 50 divided by two is 25, is the same as 50 times one over two, which is 25. So these two functions are the same. Dividing by a number, is the same as multiplying by that number's reciprocal. So we're gonna apply that rule here. Here we have the first, and we're gonna go times, and we're gonna flip this fraction up over. So then this becomes x plus two on the bottom. All right, now, I didn't write the rest because now we have to factor. The reason we're gonna factor is we wanna start doing some cancellations, okay? So x squared plus seven x plus 10 factors. Okay. Numbers that multiply to 10 and add to 7 are 5 and 2. x plus 5, x plus 2. Alrighty, we could cancel these. We could cancel these. Let's factor this and move it to the top. Multiply to negative 18 and add to 2. That's uh, 9 and 2. Let's find which one's positive, negative. No, uh, 9 and 2, 6, 3. Does that even... Factor, six, three, nine, two, no. Let's see, minus 18. No, okay, so let's change it to seven. Good, change to seven. So then that should factor. Yeah. So now multiply to negative 18 and add to positive seven, that would be plus nine and minus two. All right, so let's cancel. These can go, anything else? Or we could have done like this, these two. And you know, over time you might see other stuff that cancels, you know, things here and here, those would cancel as well. But that's basically the idea, it's how to solve these. And so the resulting fractions would be x plus nine, times, you know what, I wanna do it, I'm gonna do it, minus seven, I was thinking about it, I'm just gonna attack, that goes there, plus, love it, minus seven, there. So now multiplies to negative 18 and adds to negative seven, all right, so this would be the factorization, so now I'm allowed to bang out these, they're gone. Results in x minus nine on the top, and x plus five down here. Good. So that's basically how to add and subtract fractions like this, or multiply them, I should say. Okay. 
Last one, x plus, let's say, 4x over 3, all over 5x over 6, minus x. Let's see what this would be. So first we're adding fractions upstairs, and then we're going to end up dividing them. So a cool trick that can work for these types of things is our denominators need to be canceled. The way to do that is we can multiply this entire fraction by 6 over 6. Let's observe what would happen here. The 6 would distribute to both terms inside. 6 times this 6x, 6 times this x is 6x. And then 6 over here, the 6 cancels. That becomes 2 and 1. That becomes plus 8x all over. 6 distributing over here, those 6s would cancel. That leaves you 5x. And then the 6 distributing to minus x is minus 6x. This becomes 14x over negative x cancels, and we get negative 14. So there's a lot of noise, a lot of action that starts, but once you know how to multiply and divide fractions, then uh, it becomes, it basically evaporates, it goes away. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time on Yay Math. Bye.